Leaf eating pests of mulberry. Mulberry mora species leaf is the only natural food for silkworm Bombyx mori L. It is a perennial evergreen luxuriant uh, crop cultivated in all types of soils both under irrigated and rain fed conditions in row and pit system and also as a hedge or avenue tree in over 59 countries. In India, it is cultivated in 23 states. The crop is prone to depredation by diverse organisms because of its fast growth, lush green foliage produced throughout the year in varying proportions either for foot, space or both. So far, over 300 insect and non-insect species are known to infest mulberry in varying intensities during different stages of the crop and seasons. The species composition of different arthropods infesting mulberry and the damage inflicted by them vary according to agroclimatic conditions, diversity and cropping patterns. The major insect species known to inflict damage to mulberry belongs to orders Hemiptera, Lepidoptera, Coleoptera, Thysanoptera, Orthoptera and Isoptera. Larvae of Lepidoptera constitute an important and sometimes devastating group of pests causing defoliation of mulberry in varying degrees. So far, 37 species under 27 genera and 16 families have been reported to infest mulberry from different countries. Among the Lepidopteran pests, the leaf roller Diphenia pulverulentalis, Hampson, Bihareri caterpillar Spilarctia that is Spilosoma oblica, Walker, Cutworm Spidoptera litera, Fabricius cause significant defoliations to the crop. While the bell moth Archips micaceana, Walker, Tassa caterpillar Euphractis praterna, Moore, and Euphractis subnotata, Walker, and Vast moth Amata pessalis, Fabricius occur sporadically on mulberry. 38 species of coleopterans belonging to the families Curculinidae, that is 13 species of Curculinidae, 12 species of Scarabidae, 9 species of Cerambicidae, 2 species of Chrysomelidae. One species each of Lictidae and Carabidae feed on mulberry in Asian countries. Among the coleopteran pests, the chaffer beetle, Holotrichia serrata, Fabricius, Ashvivil melosaurus species, stem borer, Epriona species, Botocera rufo maculata, Deger, hacker on mulberry in severe form in specific locations. Yes, few species of grasshoppers assume epidemic status in rain fed mulberry ecosystem. 18 species of grasshoppers belonging to the families Acrididae, that is 14 species under family Acrididae, 1 species under the family Virgomarpidae, 1 species under the Grillidae, th these are short-horned grasshoppers and 2 species under the family Tetigonidae called long-horned grasshoppers have been found to be associated with mulberry. Among the grasshopper species, the mulberry wingless grasshopper Neorthacris acuticeps niligarensis overav is a serious pest of mulberry in Chamarajnagar and Mysore districts of Karnataka when, wherever mulberry is grown in black cotton soils under rain fed situations. However, the damage caused by the remaining grasshopper species is negligible. Snails and slugs also cause significant damage to mulberry in certain areas where there is a high relative humidity coupled with high organic content in the soil. Among the snails, the giant African snail Acatina fulica fulica baudich, land snail Rachis punctatus antan, Hariopantha bistalis beck, Cryptozona semirigata beck and Macroclimus pedina benson, Indoplanarabis exustus decisus, Pila globosa and Cochleomia species are reported to be associated with mulberry. Of these, Acatina fulica fulica has been reported as the major devastating pest of mulberry in some isolated pockets. The black slug Laviculus alte ferry sac is occasionally found on mulberry in certain pockets of Karnataka and Maharashtra during rainy and post rainy months, particularly in close vicinity of irrigation canals and shaded parts of mulberry gardens. The biology and management of important pests of mulberry are detailed as below. The first one is mulberry leaf roller. Its scientific name is Diphenia pulverulentalis, Hampson, belonging to the order Lepidoptera family Pyralidae. The leaf roller Diphenia pulverulentalis is reported to infest mulberry plantation in Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. The infestation causes considerable reduction in leaf field resulting in cocoon loss to sericulturists. The infestation is observed 20 to 30 days after pruning or leaf harvest of mulberry plantation. 
period of occurrence. The pest is observed after onset of monsoon that is from June and lasts up to February. However, the peak period of infestation is observed during September, November. Symptoms and nature of damage. Early stage larva makes a silken web among the apical leaves feed by scrapping the tissues. As the worm grows, it rolls up the tender leaves feed on whole leaf leaving the midrib and veins. Such larvae when disturbed moves about among the webbed leaves. Lower leaves of the affected plants become soiled due to the fecal matter. Life cycle, the fecundity of Diphenia pulverentalis is 80 to 150. Eggs are pale yellow in color, deposited singly along the leaf vein on the lower surface of the mulberry leaves. The egg period lasts for about 3 to 4 days. There are 5 larval instar and total larval period is completed in 12 to 15 days. The first instar larva is very minute and the larval body is fluorescent yellow in color. The second instar larva is light yellowish orange with small submedian black spots surrounded by white patch. The third instar larva is deep orange in color. The dorsal, mid dorsal lines and spots are clearly visible and expanded. The fourth instar larval color is dark greenish brown. The fifth instar larval color is dark pinkish brown. The pupae are dark brown, pupates in dried leaves are in soil. The pupal period lasts for about 7 to 9 days. Adults are yellowish gray in color. Adult longevity of male and female is 8 and 11 days respectively. The pest completes its life cycle in about 17 to 24 days. Management Mechanical measures Clipping of infested portion and collecting in a polythene bag or bucket and destroying them by burning or dipping in 0.5% soap solution. To prevent further infestation of the pest, top clipping that is apical bud and the next leaf and burning all the apical tips of the garden when the silkworms are in fourth mold. Flood irrigation and deep flowing helps to kill the pupae of the pest resting in the soil. Using light traps, I mean to attract and kill adults. Chemical Foliar application of 0.076% DDVP that is dichlorova 76% EC, 1 ml in uh, 1 litre of water, uh, 10 days after pruning or leaf harvest, if infestation persists, 2 to 3 sprays are required. The leaf can be utilized for silkworm rearing 7 days after DDVP application. Spraying commercial neem pesticide at 0.03%, 0.05% and safe period is 10 days. Spraying of insecticide should be done during evening hours. Biological Releasing a pupal parasitite Tetrasticus avadi at the rate of 50,000 adults per acre and releasing trichogramma chylonis, an egg parasitide at the rate of 1 trichocard per week. Schedule of activities from the uh, date of pruning and the last leaf harvest are release of pupal parasitite Tetrasticus avadi should be done 3 days after pruning at the rate of 50, I mean 50 adults per acre. Then spray of 0.076% DDVP that is 100 ml in 100 liters of water should be done 10 days after pruning. Then release of egg parasitide trichogramma chylonis after 13 days after pruning that is 1 card of trichogramma. Then release of egg parasitide trichogramma chylonis after 20 days after pruning. Then spraying neem pesticide 0.03% AG at the rate of 0.05% or 0.076% DDVP after 23 days of pruning. Release of egg parasitide trichogramma chylonis 30 days after pruning. Then finally, release of egg parasitide trichogramma chylonis after 37 days of pruning. The economics of integrated pest management is the yield loss due to the pest attack is 1600 kgs per acre. Cost of leaf at the rate of rupees 2 per kg is around 2032 rupees. Cost of IPM integrated pest management practice is 679 rupees. The net gain due to integrated pest management practice is rupees 1353. The cost benefit ratio is 1 is to 2. Biharari caterpillar, Spilactia that is Spilosoma oblica walker, Lepidoptera arctidae. The symptoms are the larvae on hatching are gregarious, congregate on lower surface of leaves, scrape and feed on the green matter leaving only the venal network. The grown up larvae get dispersed, 
feed on entire leaf leaving the midrib and veins with bare branches in severe attack. Life cycle, the female lays about 1200 eggs, incubation period lasts for about 5 to 7 days, the larval period lasts for about 28 to 30 days, pupal duration lasts for about 12 to 14 days, the pest completes its life cycle in about 45 to 51 days. Management, mechanical or physical management measures which includes mulberry gardens are to be observed regularly for collection and destruction of egg masses and also gregarious young caterpillars. Deep ploughing and flood irrigation helps to kill the pupae. To check the migration of the caterpillars, prepare trenches all around the mulberry plot, keep poison baits inside the trench. Preparation of uh, baits, dissolve 2 kilograms of jaggery in 1 litre of water, add 20 to 25 kilograms of sawdust or wheat bran plus 3 litres of water. To this add 250 ml of novacran, mix well and allow it to ferment for a day. Chemical, spraying 0.15 percent that is 2 ml in 1 litre of water DDVP to kill the caterpillars and the safe period is around 15 days. Biological control, releasing pupal parasitide tetrastichus awardi at the rate of 50,000 uh, adults per acre and releasing trichogramma chylonis and hegg parasitide at the rate of 1 tri uh, trichocard per week. Economics, the cocoon uh, yield loss due to Biharieri caterpillar attack is 510 kilograms, loss due to Biharieri caterpillar attack at the rate of rupees 2 per kg leaf is uh, rupees 1020, the cost of IPM is rupees 680, the net gain due to the IPM package is rupees 198, the cost benefit ratio is 1 is to 1.3. Cutworm, Spodoptera litera, Fabricius, Lepidoptera noctidae, it is a widely distributed Phalopagus pest, lays eggs on clusters of 200 to 300 on lower surface of leaves covered by brownish airs, eggs hatch in 4 to 5 days. The larvae are cylindrical, pale greenish, brown with grey dorsoventral ventral bands, they are nocturnal in habit, cut and feed on young leaves and active from August till February on mulberry. Larval period varies from 15 to 22 days. Full grown caterpillar pipettes in soil in an earthen cell and adults emerge in 15 to 20 days. Total life cycle occupies 30 to 45 days. In nature, the larvae are parasitized by Apentale species and Kilona species. Seasonal occurrence, August to February but severe during winter months. Extent and nature of damage, it causes 40 to 50 percent crop loss during peak season. The cutworm caterpillars attack shoots of young mulberry plants and cut them, hence the name cutworm. The cut portion of the shoot dries up and falls off. They also feed on mulberry leaves voraciously. Management, set up light trap to kill the adults, collect and destroy the egg masses. During the dust covers, attract the larvae to poison baits made out of wheat bran mixed with insecticide to kill the larvae. Deep ploughing should be undertaken to expose the pupae, spray the crop during evening hours with nuan at the rate of 0 0.05 percent and follow a safe period of 7 days. The fourth pest of mulberry is wingless grasshopper, Neartharchitis acuticeps nilgirensis orav, it belongs to the order Arthoptera family acrididae. The wingless grasshopper, Neartharchitis acuticeps nilgirensis orav Arthoptera acrididae is a serious pest in rain-fed mulberry plantations of black cotton soils in Mysore and Chamarajanagar districts of Karnataka. The rate of infestation ranges from 8 to 95 percent. Besides causing extensive damage to mulberry, this pest infests sunflower, ragi, groundnut, beans, potato, jawar, etc. Period of occurrence. The pest occurs during monsoon and post-monsoon periods. The peak infestation is observed during October and then declines. The infestation does not occur from January onwards till the onset of monsoons. Type of damage and symptoms, nymphs and adults feed voraciously on sprouting buds and leaves of mulberry. Sometimes they also feed on green bark. When the infestation is severe, mulberry plants are completely devoid of leaves. Life cycle, adults of the grasshoppers are light green in color. 
gravid females lay 6 to 8 egg pods in loose soil at a depth of 2 to 3 centimeter. Each egg pod contains 8 to 18 eggs, eggs hatch in about 28 to 31 days. The first, second and third instar nymphs are straw colored, whereas the remaining instars are light green in color. Nymphs pass through 8 instars in 90 to 95 days. Females are larger than the males and live for about 45 to 60 days. The pest completes its life cycle in 163 to 186 days. Management practices. Management practices. Sweep the grasshoppers with insect nets and buns. Heavily infested crop and killing helps to reduce the pest to a considerable extent. Trimming the buns after the first monsoon rains helps to expose the egg pods to natural enemies. Deep plowing should be undertaken in the mulberry fields after monsoon showers to expose the egg pods to hot sun and natural enemies. Spraying the grass on buns and the infested crop with nuan at the rate of 0.05 percent affords better production. Care should be taken not to harvest the grass or mulberry leaf for 8 to 10 days to avoid residual toxicity. May and June beetles, cock chaffer beetles, Volotrichia serrata belongs to the order Coleoptera family Melalanthidae. The insect name May and June beetles refers to the time of period of adult emergence. The larval stage of white grubs are root feeders. May and June beetles take one year to complete their life cycle. Adult reproductive flights occur throughout the season that is May to August. Eggs are laid and individually rolled into earthen balls of soil. It is a serious pest in Bannur and Malavalli areas of Karnataka, Udunpet of Tamil Nadu and Mariur of Kerala. Management, installation of light trap and collection of adult beetles during night time in containers having kerosene and water. Soil application of 0.2 percent melathion or chloropyrifos dust in white grub areas. Foliar application of 0.2 percent that is 2.63 ml per liter of water DDVP safe period is around 17 days or 0.2 percent 2 ml per liter of water neem oil safe period is 12 days. Weevils, 13 species of weevils are found to damage mulberry of which Mylocerus dentifer, Mylocerus discolor, Mylocerus viridianus, Mylocerus dorsatus are common pests in southern sericultural dry zones of Karnataka. Adults feed on foliage by making irregular serrated margins while the grubs scrape and feed on rootlets and roots. Maximum pest infestation is found during July-October. Management, spot application of dialdrin 1.5 percent at the rate of 10 to 12 kilograms per hectare before planting the cuttings in case of severe infestation of grubs affords better protection. Molluscan pests of mulberry. Snails and slugs also cause significant damage to mulberry in certain areas where there is a high relativity coupled with low organic content in the soil. Snail species infesting mulberry includes giant African snail that is Acatina fulica fulica baudich, land snail, Rachis punctatus angton, Hariopantha bistialis beck, Cryptozona semirugata beck, Macroclamis Pedina benson, Indoplanarobis exustas decis, Pila globosa, Cochleopa species. Half these snail species, Acatina fulica fulica is the most devastating pest of mulberry in some isolated pockets of Karnataka. The black slug Laviculus alte ferrusac is occasionally found on mulberry in certain parts of Karnataka and Maharashtra during rainy and post rainy months. Giant African snail, Acatina fulica fulica baudich. It is a pest of mulberry in Bangalore rural, Ramanagaram, Mandya and Tumkur district of Karnataka. Native of eastern Africa, it was imported from Mauritius island to India during 1847 by the Britishers for consumption as food. It has spread throughout India and well established with wide range of host, posing a threat to crops like coffee, cotton, coconut, sunflower, gram, bean, peas, brinjal, pumpkin, cucumber, cabbage, cauliflower, sponge guard, ladyfinger, banana, ragi, marigold, mulberry, etc. Damage to mulberry. Snails feed on tender leaves, stem and bark of mulberry. 
the infested leaves have circular holes in the center the affected mulberry plants have stunted growth resulting in loss of leaf yield and quality when snails infested leaves are fed to the silkworms the consumption is drastically reduced due to presence of mucus like substance that is secreted by the pests management management of african uh, giant snail periodical cleaning of drains canals river banks adjacent to mulberry gardens deep ploughing and manual picking and destruction keep the hiding places of snails dry by spreading lime ash salt or sawdust spread the pellets of metaldehyde that is the 2.5% near the hiding places spray 4% salt solution near hiding places keep the poison bait that is papaya plus methomil that is commonly known as lanate